In my experience, the majority of people who want a specific person to fall in love with them are the ones whose specific person is their ex-partner. They want them to fall in love with them and manifest them in their lives. If you are interested in learning how you can do it, then this video is definitely for you. Although the visuals of this video are simple, you think that nothing is interesting about them. But I assure you that the quality and amount of knowledge you find in this video will leave you speechless. In this, I will show you what you can do to manifest your specific person in your life. I have tried it several times, and it works. If you have been trying to manifest a specific person for a long time and have watched tons of videos on this topic, then this will probably be the last one for you. If you follow what I say in this video, then you will experience some movement within the first few days of following the practice that I am about to tell you. Back in 2019, I didn't even know what the term specific person was. It all started when an incident happened in my life that broke me. It was an accident that happened, after which I became a completely different person. During this time, I made a negative story about myself relating to that incident, and it greatly impacted my personality. Remembering this story and attaching new negative meanings to that story manifested some unfavorable outcomes. I completely changed my self-concept and embodied a negative one. But now, when I look backwards, I can observe what I did and what the majority of people do that results in getting ghosted, ignored, or cheated by their specific person. There is a pattern that we follow, and once you understand this pattern, it will be a game changer for you. Like I said, some incidents happened that changed my perspective because I allowed myself to think negatively. I could have given it a better, more beautiful meaning, but I gave it a disempowering meaning. Then it started. Like my story, people get ghosted by a specific person if they follow this pattern. It starts with them. They start feeling that they are unworthy and that they cannot do anything in their lives. In some way, they start feeling as if they are good for nothing. They constantly compare themselves with others. They start feeling undesirable. And the moment this happens, they start creating stories in their minds that are disempowering. This is the first stage when it happens. I am not saying that they sit and think about it 24-7. Initially, it starts small, like here and there. But people persist in those negative stories, which snowball into something big. You are constantly allowing yourself to be aware of the negative story. You could have stopped it right then and there. But there is some instant cheap pleasure that is attached to thinking negatively as if the world is a bad place and how people take advantage of you. By doing so, you start changing your perspective. Everything that is similar to those negative stories of yours catches your attention. On social media, you start finding relatable posts. On television, you watch news channels that tell you how the world is a nasty place. In the streets, your attention filters out the scenarios to reinforce what you are thinking. Your story gets stronger. After this negative story affects you, it reaches a specific person. You were in a great relationship with them. Now things start going wrong. It is because the negative stories that you accepted about yourself make you think, behave, and act as if you are unworthy. Your constant comparison to others makes you think that there are many people out there that are marvelous, brilliant, and far better than you. This makes you think that your specific person can get someone far better than you. This is the start of a relationship going downhill. Now, if your specific person doesn't pick up your calls, your mind starts thinking that they are with someone else who is far better than you. You start behaving negatively when you go out with them if some colleague or old friend meets them. You start feeling jealous because you think you are nothing and the other person is a king or queen. You again start acting negatively and your specific person starts losing interest in you. Now your main focus in life is to make your relationship better again. But when you start clinging to them, your focus is diverted and now you are not the main character in your story. You are a side artist and the main character is your specific person. Trust me, this gives a very negative energy to your specific person. This ruins your relationship further, and they break up with you. This is the pattern that the majority of people follow. Something happens in their lives that shatters them, and they attach negative meaning to the incident that hampers their self-concepts. Then this further reflects on their relationships. Does this story sound relatable? Does it sound like you? Now, I am not saying that some big incident happened that changed you. Maybe it was just that you consumed social media a lot and started comparing yourself with others. Maybe your parents had this unhealthy relationship that made your family environment chaotic. Maybe someone your age did something extraordinary, and you started feeling like you were not capable. Now, if you have been with me till now, then congratulations. You are recognizing the pattern. You can now sit back and observe how it started. When you observe it and try to write it down or tell it to someone else, you again start writing a story in your mind. You are giving it a verbal touch. This story would now evoke some negative emotions towards the people involved in it. But you have to look at it from a third-person perspective. This is the meaning of the third-eye perspective. It is about observing it without being affected by it. It is about attaching no meaning 
be it positive or negative. Now that you have observed it, you are on the right path. You would soon realize that it started with you, not with a specific person or someone else. It started because you allowed others to affect you internally. You will realize that the story was and is always about you, not someone else. You might find a person sexy now, but later you would lose interest in them because of the meaning you gave them. Now that you know that it started because of you, you have to work on yourself. You have to work on what defines you. But the majority of people do the opposite. Their focus is on a specific person. Their focus has shifted from them to another. They fail to realize the first thing that was affected was their self-concept, which further changed their assumptions about their specific person. When their focus is not on changing their concepts about themselves but about the other person, they start seeking validation from the other person. This makes them stuck in that loop. Bingo, you hit the bull's eye. Yes, you have to change your concept of yourself. Even Neville Goddard said, no one can change but oneself. Yet people are mistaking it by thinking that they have to change their specific person. It is not about anyone but yourself. When you change yourself, a specific person automatically changes their behavior towards you. You will even find new people approaching you. In my experience, almost 90% of the focus must be on changing your self-concept, and the rest 10% must be focused on your specific person. But people do the opposite. They place 90% of their attention on their specific person, and less than 10% is about changing their self-concept. There are many people who keep their entire focus on their specific person, they manifest them temporarily, and then their specific person leaves. It is because, again, their insecurities about themselves change their assumptions about the specific person. Their own concept is causing them to look at the world differently. Therefore, I advise you to change the story about you. When you are successful at changing the story about yourself, you will automatically change the assumptions about a specific person. Many YouTubers advocate affirmations as a tool to change their self-concept. Well, I advise you to do them. But let's say if you are creating 10 affirmations, then keep at least 7 affirmations about your self-concept and the rest about your specific person. Let's first look at the specific person's affirmations. You would only need one or two affirmations that would imply that they are in a relationship with you and love you the most. You can say, XYZ is in a happy, healthy, and committed loving relationship with me. Only this one single affirmation would be helpful for you. Now, your major affirmations should be about yourself. You will make these affirmations based on the story of you that you observed from a third-person perspective. These affirmations should be from the perspective that you are the most desirable person and a prize. What would your personality be like if you were a person that everyone loved and wanted to be with? The answers to this question are your affirmations that you have to recite inwardly or out loud when sitting alone. It is not about speaking these affirmations to others. It is about you. It is about changing your self-concept. It is about changing the memory that you hold about yourself. You don't have to convince another person or seek other people's validation. You just have to accept yourself with this new personality. Personality is just your personal reality. So, stop seeking validation from the outside world. Just go internally and change it. Today, I hear about people who are walking on the streets, protesting, and asking others to accept them. They don't have to do it. They have to accept themselves internally first. Your life is always about enhancing what you are given, building, and upgrading. With this, I hope you learned a very important lesson today. Some people requested that the video be made in this format. I know that it will become easy to read, but I wanted to try something new. I wanted to experiment in this world of video creation. I have made many videos in this format, and I want to change it. I feel robotic when creating these videos, but I am not robotic. I am a god in a human body, and so are you. If you have any suggestions for creating unique content, then suggest them in the comment sections. Subscribe if you found this video helpful and want more such videos. I will meet you with another golden nugget. Happy manifesting!